What's up everyone? My name is Aditya and welcome to AGT Tech. And guys, in this video, let us discuss about foldable phones and regarding rollable phones. Well, in short, both of the devices are in the initial stages of the development with both of the types, like with a folding display and with a rolling display, there are many drawbacks from which the number one drawback is the overall durability because with a foldable phone, there is a crease. Whereas with a rollable phone, there are chances that the OLED pixel can get distorted because if you pull the display harder or in short if you give your rollable phone in in any kid's hand then he might stretch the display and because of which the entire panel might get torn well guys there are so many other conspiracy theories that how a foldable display makes no sense but you all have to admit that this kind of technology has definitely one particular use currently we don't know well guys currently we have both of the technologies we are having physical prototypes of a folding phone and also of a rollable phone but the main thing is that we don't know that what is the use of such a high technology definitely it will be a very nice idea to have a tablet in a size of a smartphone and on the other hand it is also a very nice idea to have a tablet in a format of a computer so in short the technology is present but we don't know the true potential of like this kind of features well other than that the obvious question is where is Apple's foldable iPhone? Well guys, if you all know that in 2007, Steve Jobs or Apple completely changed the smartphone game. They first launched a multi-touch or a touchscreen smartphone and from that time onwards, every single smartphone has followed that trend. And guys, it is not a very different question. Like Apple has all of the nice potential. Every year, they work on ridiculously expensive or ridiculously futuristic tech like currently Apple is working behind smart glasses which are basically a transparent OLED display on both both of your lenses and if this kind of product becomes very much successful then one day it might replace a mobile phone well guys it is not pretty much a secret that Apple is definitely working behind a foldable iPhone let that be a foldable in two sides or even a triple side foldable phone but in short from five to six years ago Apple is working behind like this kind of product because in 2014 and 2015 Apple filed many patents for a foldable display so definitely Apple also cares a lot about the future of smartphones because it is pretty obvious like every year adding couple of new features will not be revolutionary because there should be a 2007 kind of movement after every 10 years so definitely soon the foldable tech might replace the entire smartphones or even even the Apple's AR glasses or Apple's eyeglass might be the replacement. We currently don't know because in 2014 also, Apple thought by launching an Apple Watch, they thought that it will one day replace an iPhone. But it is never a case because you definitely need a nice mobile device. So guys, the foldable technology is obviously one step ahead from the current iPhone design or any other smartphones because there should be a moment where every single smartphone should should be exciting because every year adding few features will not make any smartphone great so definitely apple is working behind a foldable phone and they might launch it after one year after two years but for sure apple will do something drastic because under the sleeves they are always working for a breakthrough product they might make a one more thing announcement next year while they might launch apple's own ar glasses so definitely the future of technology is very interesting well guys with the help of this small video I wanted to say like the foldable technology is having their pros and cons first of all in a foldable tech there is a crease which actually completely ruins the video watching experience other than that the durability is also a major concern because if you drop a foldable phone or if it is made up of plastic then it will get very much scratches so obviously in terms of the durability it is not a good idea and on the other hand if you will have like two thousand dollars of price tag then for sure many people cannot buy it it is a tech enthusiast kind of product so for this or for a foldable thing to be commonly accessible the price is the number one point well guys for sure the future of the entire mobile technology is going to be very epic so guys thanks a lot for watching this quick video and guys i will meet you with another beautiful video until then peace